Good morning. It is December 5th. Happy December. And I looked the other day to see if I could find a print for Patreon packages, tissue paper print, and realized the new Jilson Roberts catalog came out. And then that was like three days ago and I haven't felt well enough since. But today, nausea meds are working. We are doing okay. I am ridiculously excited like beyond excited to see the Jilson Roberts prints so this is the everyday 2022 now with my tissue paper supplier most likely I can still get the 2021 prints but it does get harder as time goes on so I'm gonna have to go back through last year's catalog order all of the prints that I wouldn't want to do without very dramatic okay so tissue paper starts on page 28 weird the Jilson Roberts catalog usually comes out closer to my birthday, which is the end of December. That was like three years ago and then two years ago, about the same. Last year it came out earlier. I want to say the end of December, beginning of January. And here it is the beginning of December and it's out. It's, it's out. So I'm thrilled. Okay, 28 is the tissue paper. Usually it's like 76, so they've put it up higher. I don't see where I can just type. So I'm just gonna have to flip through. Okay, we're gonna try to flip through without seeing it yet. Okay, here it is, 28. And I'll put up some screenshots. Specialty wraps. Okay, here's the tissue. Ooh, some new ones, okay. Oh, and some really pretty photos, like stylistic photos of people using it in cowboy boots? <laughs> Is anybody putting tissue paper in their cowboy boots? I guess if you were to sell cowboy boots, you'd want to stuff them. Okay. Retro Aqua, aqua Floral. Retro Floral Aqua. Like it a lot. Very boho. Kind of like a sketch black and white flower on a dark aqua. I would almost call it light teal base with some peach kind of baby's breath wispy flowers and some greenery, really pretty. Yeah, I'll probably order it. Oh, it has metallic highlights. Okay, we'll definitely order it. One of the prints last year disappointed and it was the um, leopard print. It was supposed to be on a shimmer background and it came in, it was on a flat background. So I still haven't used it. I've got two boxes of it. Eventually I'll find something to do with it. Okay, floral burst, love. This is like giving me retro, Vera Bradley, very bright colors, almost primary colors with some pinks. Dark black, it looks like maybe navy blue base, but a lot of flowers, you can't even see the black, mostly. Reds, yellows, blues, greens, no orange, but then the pink, shades of pinks. Love it, lots of flowers, lots of in your face. Um, this one also has a metallic gold highlight, love that. Drifting Blossoms. This one says it's new. I think I've seen something very similar from them in a gift wrap. So although the tissue paper might be new, I think I've seen this print or something very similar. It's gold background and it's got the metallic gold, which is gorgeous. I just did a Christmas paper with metallic gold background in the December packages and I loved it. It just gave off so much sparkle and light and movement. Red flowers, pink flowers, kind of like a white sketch floral, like a, a pop. But the sketch should have been a little bit, we'll see when I get it in person. Um, I probably will order this. I have a theme for February, January, January. I'd have to order this soon. I might. Um, I have some other thoughts floating around too for January. Um, that this would be good for. So I might go for this for January. Um, if you don't know, I send out subscription boxes with tissue papers and just wrapping supplies. I do a lot of wrapping in my everyday life because <laughs> I sell on eBay. I don't sell a ton on eBay. How many items have I sold this year? Okay, so probably just over a thousand. <coughs> and everything gets wrapped. 99% of things get wrapped. Um, Drifting Blossoms, it's called. Gold, pink, red. The flowers are very small and kind of sparse looking. I'm guessing the gold is gonna help it. 
Bloomin, love Bloomin, that's from this past year. Love, love, love. I will order that again. I ran out because I loved it so much. It's really pretty. It's got gold highlights and a metallic blue base. So pretty. So glad they kept this next row. Gypsy Floral, beautiful. Mandarin Grove, one of my all-time favorites. Bouquet, bouquet is really muted, kind of reminds me of like a romantic kind of muted Mother's Day, and it's got some like rose gold. It's really pretty. Bumble and Daisy, love it. Classic sky blue with bumblebees, bright yellow, very cheerful. Twig and Twine, I've had it before. It's very pretty. I take that every day over Drifting Blossoms. Love the purples in that. Secret Garden, I've also really liked. There's no metallic highlight. There's no shimmer on that one, so it's more flat, but it's really well done, flat paper. Tropic Thunder, I've never ordered. I should order that, maybe for summertime. It gives a summertime, um, I always forget, Moncera leaves? We have them here, they're like right outside. <laughs> I always forget what it's called though, but it's got a gold um, leaf too. Very pretty, very pretty fern. Sedona, love, very whimsical, classic um, cactus and tropical pots, very fun. Okay, this page is just showing it being used, which is something new I haven't seen with them. Okay, birdie, love, sweet, there's no highlights or anything. Pretty Petunia, the very first one I've ever purchased. Still in love with that. Again, just a flat paper. Botanical, this one reminds me of the other one on the other page. What was that called? Twig and twine. Twig and twine, yes. Yeah, botanical is very close in my book. Kind of that, that purple, same purple. Oh, did I miss this first one? Oh, I missed a whole row. Oh, go back me. Birds and Blooms, love it, so sweet, a pearl base, so it gives it a little bit of a shimmer. Oh, that's a for sure, oh I love that one. It's got that like pale salmon, almost a peachy pink, very muted watercolor, very sweet. Little Bluebird, looks like he's just hanging out, having a great time. I wish there were little song notes, like music notes coming out of his mouth and just a little black, a few just here and there. Wish they would have added that, they didn't. That's okay, it's okay, we can get over it. Uh, Floral Collage Love, I'd order that time and time again. That's from last year or two years ago. Delicate Floral, Butterflies, I know butterflies people really enjoy. It's a very small print again. It's got a metallic gold highlight, it's pretty. Yeah, very classically pretty. I, I'm, I could go either way about it. I'm sure it's really pretty in person. Watercolor Petal, I don't think I've ever ordered this. Again, just like the one next to it, it's very pretty, nothing wrong with it. Actually, the, the butterfly paper, the delicate floral, has a gold highlight, whereas the watercolor, maybe I have used this one, is just flat. Okay, back to Birdie, Pretty Petunia. Botanical, don't love Botanical. The, the one time I tried to get my hands on it, it's out of stock. It has a newspaper background, like just a stylized newspaper, which is really pretty, but they were out of it. Magnolia, I don't think I've ever used that. It's kind of boring. <laughs> For something you don't want all in your face, I'm sure it'd be really pretty, but the background is very there. Like it just looks like a few sprigs of flowers on a background. And it's kind of a gray purpley background. Oh, 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 I love this one. Okay, kitty cats, we have to get through kitty cats. Very cute. I've ordered it time and time again, adorable. They did a great job. Best in show dogs. This is a very similar dog print to their other dog prints. In fact, this might be the same print, just on a metallic green base. Really pretty, I like the green base. It could go unisex easily, anybody who likes dogs. I mean, even if you don't love dogs, it's such a cute print. Who doesn't love dogs? Okay, Celestial. Oh, this is stunning. So unlike Jillson Roberts. It's not a floral, it's not like a dog or an animal print. So pretty. Absolutely will purchase for October this year. Dark royal purple with a black and white, hands, eyeballs, bugs, just very unusual for them. Metallic gold and silver accents. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love that one. 
you're having so much fun. I'm so glad I waited until I was feeling better. I really could have pushed myself, but I was just noticeably like chills all over my body. Yikes. Uh, over the rainbow silver, pretty. It's a rainbow with clouds. <laughs> it looks like everybody's drawing of a rainbow on silver. That's, that's that. Oh, fun. Okay, pineapple pop, love pineapple pop. It says that's a metallic charcoal base. Does it? I have this here. I don't ever remember seeing a shimmering base. Maybe it does. Books, love books. If you're a bookseller, I mean, you'd have to be like a high-end bookseller because their tissue paper is so expensive. It's like, I guess if you buy it in a giant pack, it's like 25 cents a sheet, maybe a little bit less. So if you cut it in half, it's not super pricey, but still just for tissue paper, it's, it's kind of pricey. Worth it because it's gorgeous tissue paper. Um, the books, love. I grew up reading. My sister grew up reading. Books were just in our household. My mom brought us to the library all the time. We were told not to read our books before vacation because we'd go through them and then we'd not have fresh new books for the trip on vacation. We would just read all the time. We'd read ketchup bottles and shampoo bottles and I just it's before the internet. <laughs> so this is really pretty. It has, I, I appreciate so much their metallic accents and their shimmers that they're putting into this because it makes the tissue paper so much more dynamic. Um, it's just called books. It has reed and little um, fish and fish tanks like the globe fish tanks and just books all scattered and plants. So cute. Seashells. Love seashells. I'd order seashells again. It doesn't have any shimmer and it's a weird color scheme for me. But it is very reminiscent of finding seashells on the shore. Like these would be the colors you would see if you put the seashells in water. Once the, they bleach out from the sun, they go all neutral and boring, mostly. Bumblebees, I loved the feel of bumblebees. It had a very soft, crisp feel. S seashells does too, but bumblebees specifically. I wish they would have added a little bit more on it, but because it's so plain, and the way they, they made the bumblebees, it almost looked like a, they could have possibly done this, I don't think. They cut out all of the wings from a separate paper and pressed it into the paper. It was done very well and some of it was like separated from the bee a little bit. You know, when you, you have that kind of artist that draws outside the line a little bit and the shadows get just blurred slightly. I, I don't know how else to describe that. Love cowboy. I can't even imagine me ever ordering it. It's so specifically wonderful and quirky. Like who needs a tissue paper with with cowboy boots and hats? I don't know. I do. I'm gonna have to sell cowboy apparel now. I've changed my life just for this tissue paper. Sprinkles, love sprinkles. Happy birthday I've never used. It's too specific for eBay. I, I don't know if it's somebody's birthday. And if somebody lets me know it's their birthday, I mean, I've got a good, I've got a gajillion other prints I could use, but I would just do sprinkles or balloons. Um, balloon white, fine. Lightning, fun. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy it. Reminds me of Gem and the Holograms a little bit. Metallic gold highlight. Okay, so lightning bolts have like a highlight of an outline and then they're filled in with all fun little prints. Some polka dots and scattered dots, some diagonal stripes, some solids. I, I'm failing to come up with why I would need that. I don't think the background is fun. It's on white, which a lot of their prints aren't on white, so I get why they did it. Not in love with that one. I'm glad it has the gold highlight. I don't think I'll be able to order that one. Love this one. Now this is a craft paper, which I'm not usually a fan of because it's a little bit harder to fold. And if I'm folding something, it just gets bulky. But this one's super cute, so I will be ordering this. It'll be worth the bulk. Um, it has their whimsical creatures like foxes and little raccoons and deer hedgehogs maybe and did I say deer there's a couple different prints of deer and mushrooms the very classic red and white mushrooms and all of them have little gifts they're kind of just like 
whittling creatures with giant mushrooms and here they found a little gift and a little gift. So cute, adorable, no highlight. Metallic splatter, they just call it splatter. It's white background. I guess it's the color of the splatter that's not doing it for me. If it was like all blues and greens or all purples and pinks or all, pick a color scheme. It's got too much variety. There's like weird brown, maybe they're gold. Maybe they're gold because it says gold highlights. We'll give it to them if it's gold. And then like mustard color and orange and green and light blue and then purple and dark pink like a fuchsia. That's got too much. It's too much. The sizes are too varied. The dots aren't all perfectly dotty because they look like ink splotches, which I get. I, I don't know. The white background again, it's just white. Bright stars. I do have this one. It has a, a gold highlight, so that's why I got it. It's shooting stars and it's kind of like 1980s retro shooting stars. And I like the color scheme. It's better than the ink dot thing. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. Okay, zooming in. Party Popper White, I've seen that before. I will never order this. This is slightly better than the ink splotch, and I couldn't tell you why, because the colors are so different, uh, so similar to the other one. But I guess it's the size is different. They're very small, so it's, it does look like a Party Popper exploded on it, rather than that ink, didn't like that. Tapestry, I've used this before like years ago. This one's a, a throwback print, maybe three or four years ago. It's really pretty. I haven't ordered it since. It's got a gold highlight. It's really pretty. It's classic. Um, Featherly. Now, Featherly, I do love. It is a white background, but the feathers are so varied and so pretty, and they just look like fluffy, falling feathers from the sky, but they're all in like blues and purples and a watercolor. It's got the gold accents. Very pretty. They did a great job. Rainbow Stripe is new. I don't love their their colors here. It's like solid lipstick red, kind of pumpkin orange, yellow, just all day long, classic yellow, hunter green, like royal blue and royal purple, but then the purple's on the red again. Uh, I don't know. I guess the green is throwing it off. For, the whole thing is just the can't do rainbow, you got it. Rainbow, there's no metallic, there's no anything, it's just rainbow. Zoo, for some reason it's off by itself. Um, Zoo's cute, they had it last year, maybe even the year before, it's cute. I've never ordered it, it's a little too babyish, but it's still fun. Hey, what did I do to my page? Come back page, I zoomed in. Oh, it's not off by itself, never mind. Oh, yay! Um, Zoo is close to ABC's, ABC's is new, super cute love that they've taken the letters of the alphabet and made them into something that represents that letter a has apple b has bear c has caterpillar d has duck super cute very whimsical very childish might never use it because i don't really sell kids clothing i'm so excited about the next one <laughs> so excited um on the farm which was a gift wrap I ordered this last year. One catalog had it out of the entire internet. One catalog showed it as a tissue paper. Ordered it, paid for it, didn't come. It was supposed to be here in like September, October for like the harvest season. I wanted it, but it could also go spring, so I'm fine with it. And they're like, oh yeah, Jelson Roberts hasn't released that yet. I was like, darn. So I got my money back and ordered something else. I can't even remember what I went with, but thrilled to see this. And I hope they actually have it. Bear's gonna love this. It's got pigs, it's got chicks, little horse, whatever you call little horses, baby horses, the classic red barn with the X's, cornfields, everything that Bear grew up with is here. Love, love. Doesn't have highlights. It is whimsical, it's a little bit more kid-like. I will for sure be ordering this. Lovely, lovely. I don't think I've ever ordered this and I would have liked to see this release. Oh, you know what? I have ordered this for a Valentine's Day. Um, released with a little bit of a highlight or a gold or a silver metallic, probably gold metallic, with some outlines. But the hearts are super cute, varied, polka dots, sketch, watercolor, got all of that. Golden hearts I really like, just a metallic gold heart. Okay, I don't know what I did with my page. 
Gold Aqua Geo, Gold Aqua Aqua Geo has a gold highlight. I did like this one. I didn't love it last year, and then I ordered it, and it was actually really pretty. It wasn't anything like thrilling, but the gold helped. It always does. Marbleized Magic, love this one. Is their their blue and gold? They also have a mint and gold. I've ordered both. Love both. The only thing you have to watch with these is the gold. I don't know if I just got like a bad run. The gold stuck to the next paper. Like they didn't fully let the gold foil dry before the next sheet hit it. So it was a little bit, I mean, it was just like a one second thing that, that it didn't peel away easily. It was like sticking a little bit. It wasn't a big deal. Marbleized silver. This would be gorgeous for a wedding because it's, it's silver, gold, champagne, highlights. You can see this done at like, Halloween maybe, even Christmas with the right ribbon. It's pretty, it's new. Black and white damask. This has a really nice crisp feeling. If you like that crisp feeling, black and white. I've ordered this many times for Halloween. It's just black and white. Paisley blue. I like the color scheme. This is what I'm saying. Pick a color scheme and stick to it rather than going from like pastel and royal and primary and blah, 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 just on all. This is very blues and very soothing purple, blue, almost a mint color, silver gray on a white background, very pretty. It's got a pearl base, which I like, um, instead of a flat white, metallic silver. I'm guessing this one's really pretty in person. Paisley, a lot of people like Paisley, it's got the floral. This could be easily a Vera Bradley print. Black and white gingham, love, this one's new. This is just one of those classic papers you could have year round and depending on what bow you're putting with it, it would easily change seasons. Red becomes Valentine's Day, orange becomes Halloween. You could even do red, white, and blue with this fairly easily. Pastel stripe, pearl base, which is nice. I'm glad it's not flat white. It's okay. I'm glad that they stuck to all pastels rather than throwing in a hunter green stripe. So we'll give it, we'll give it to them. It, it looks a little bit like a baby shower, or maybe, maybe it would even go like Easter egg. I could see that. I'm trying to think of it in a, a scheme because we're we're seeing such a small. So once you put it, you know it's going to be striped. The stripes will be a different size. I like it. I like that they're showing this. What what happened there? Okay. I like that they're showing um, the picture with the flowers. That's very pretty, and that's one of their newer designs. Okay, that was it. We are on to hot dots. Hot dots are actually more expensive. Um, I'm sure there's a process for hot dots. Somebody out there is going, because it's so much harder. I get it, it's okay. I've never had them. I think the white is a little bit of a classic tissue paper where it's not crisp, it's a little bit more recycled feeling. I think I felt the hot dots in a smaller package. Reflection tissue, hot stamped confetti, and then we have some gemstone tissue, which is just like boring tissue paper with glitter. It's pretty. And the metallic, love the new rose gold. How much is this? $60 or $240. Yeah, that's about right on for them. I'll probably get rose gold at some point. I'll have to work it in. It's really pretty. Okay, then regular tissue paper. Let's go and see, I'm gonna to have to go back to the index. I wanna see which wrapping paper florals, because sometimes, uh, I said florals, wrapping paper designs, they'll come out with that next year. So if it becomes popular, like the farm print, I'm so glad they did it. Okay, so wrapping paper. We're seeing exactly what the tissue paper, the aqua, the floral burst, the drifting blossoms, still don't love that. Ah, it, it's not new. So it's new to tissue paper, this gold and red and pink, but not new. That's where I've seen it before. Okay. Stay on top of these things. Bloomin', Twig and Time, Gypsy Floral, Mandarin, Bouquet. Yep, those are all the same. Secret Garden, Sedona, Birds and Blooms, which is new to tissue paper, is here new. Floral Collage, Delicate Floral with the Butterflies, good. Looking for, I have seen Go Dog before. That's super cute. They didn't come out with a tissue paper. And honestly, there's so many dog and cat tissue papers and I get why they're adorable. 
You just don't need another one. Best in Show, another one. Bark, Stay, there's a lot of dog. I'm guessing there's a lot, oh, the Celestial's pretty, um, of like pet stores that use their tissue paper, I'm assuming, just because of how much pet tissue paper there is. Oh, slow clap on the Celestial. They nailed this. Whoever the artist is, uh, Jillson Roberts has their own in-house artist, but then people can also submit their art. I don't know the process and I don't know how well they get paid. Hopefully a lot because it's a huge company, but I'm assuming not, unfortunately. I hope they do that. Now that so pretty, the beetles love it. It's very, I don't know, the whole feel of it is so pretty. Great design. Over the rainbow, yep. They have astrology. I wouldn't use that tissue paper anyway. It's pretty, it's very pretty. The, the color scheme is very pastel. Love it, the base is really pretty. It has a blue base. There's another paper with a blue base. I don't remember. Oh, Beach House, I have it. I have actual wrapping paper in addition to tissue paper. I don't use it much, but I was glad to get it. Seashells, coursing around, love that. Why didn't they do the mermaid? Year after year I say this, like more nautical beach designs. The seashells is great, I'm thrilled. But the mermaid blue, which they're saying is new here, I guess it's just a new colorway because I've seen these mermaids before. Would have loved to see mermaids. Okay, honeybees, I'm glad they have that. Unicorn, I've seen that tissue paper. I might even have that tissue paper. Cowboy is so fun. Oh, birthday gnomes. Okay, a bunch of blooms is cute, very cute. The colors are good. No hunter green, good. Um, I really like hunter green, just not in a weird, out of place way. Birthday gnomes, oh, so cute. I would have for sure ordered that. Oh, it says happy birthday on it though. Oh, so close. Cause happy birthday is just like, a few times on this little design. I'm sure it'd be more on a bigger print, but I, I would have ordered this in a heartbeat if they didn't have happy birthday, which they could have gotten away with because there's balloons and presents and stuff. So it would skew birthday. They, then they went and put happy birthday on it. They could have done away with that and, and made it universal. You could use it for any party. really. Uh, party hats, super cute. Love the print. Again, the color scheme's really nice. It's a gloss on a, with highlights, very pretty. Donuts, I love donuts. I tried to get donuts this past year um, for tissue paper and they had, they had down and white with it. It was impossible to get, but it was a 2019 tissue paper print. Blue and white, they've had a lot. There's nothing, it's okay. Well, then they just have pictures of presents. Okay, next page. There's a lot more gift wrap. A lot of people use gift wrap, I'm guessing, from them. The typewriter, happy birthday, cute. I don't love the color scheme. The red with the lime green and the yellow, just very in your face. Sprinkles, good, happy birthday, okay. The color scheme again is weird. Love dance party? Oh, that's cute. That's a new one. It's a gloss. something missing from this. I'm trying to decide what it is. It's very fun. It's got some movement. It could have more movement. It might be music notes. <laughs> the color scheme's not bad. There's a lot of blue and yellow and orange. I wish they would have leaned into that a little bit harder and made it like 70s coloring because the pink and the purple, if they just would have went like avocado green and mustard yellow and rust, like that whole color scheme that's very trendy right now, because there's no green in it. I don't know, something about the color scheme maybe? If they would have went with a different color scheme, I would have loved it. I think that's what would have saved it in my mind. It's, it's cute, it's so cute. Whoever did the sign almost nailed it. Lightning bolts, bleh. That's what I have to say about that. Splatter, oh. Party animals, cute. I wish the animals were a little bigger in scale to the background or less background. Super cute. Could have put some polka dots on there. Very cute. Um, they didn't release that in a tissue paper. Shark party. Can we get a beach print besides seashells? 
This is adorable. Whimsical sharks in different positions with snorkels and hats and little, so cute, so cute. Some of them have presents, some of them have like banners across, some of them are carrying gifts in a funny way. The color scheme's great. The scale is great. It's got a white background, but it's really cute and it makes the colors pop adorable. Go Wild, another print I wish they, that's not new. Yeah, Shark Party's not new. Go Wild, I wish they would have brought this through too. Um, again, with probably some gold or something, but the colors are, are fairly muted, fairly neutral with the hats and the bows being different colors. Cute. Bright Stars, eh. Dino Party, adorable. Wasn't released in a tissue paper. Then we have their marble again, the new silver. It's pretty, it's very pretty. The mint and the blue, which they're calling magic. Nice. Blue and silver stripe. Okay. I understand their need for something more boring. Um, the metallic geo. Black gingham. I feel like there's stripes in that gingham. I think some of the gingham is striped. Doesn't make it any better. It's gingham. I mean, it's a good gingham, but black and white gingham. You can only be so excited about it. Classy plaid. I think they did this. They did do this in a tissue paper. I didn't see it this year, so I think I still have some of it. Um, it's got a ribbed gold foil to it. It's pretty. It's metallic. Silver dots on white. Eh, I like that the dots are slightly different. Not all the same size standardized dot. Buffalo plaid. I do have this in tissue paper. It's nice. I wouldn't get it again. There's too many other fun prints here. Black and white stripe, eh. Gold dots on white, gold and black stripe, slash stripes. Okay, fun. Trucks, which they had last year, so cute. I would have no need for this in my life, but adorable. I wish the trucks would have had little faces. Like little smiling trucks, little mad trucks. I don't know. Jungle Safari would have ordered in a heartbeat, especially if it had any kind of foil to it, like a gold metallic base or polka dots or just anything would have been gold. I would have ordered this. So cute. Colors are very nice. Very nice. I like when they do the watercolor. Oh, bunny rabbits. Come on, Jilson. Make this one a tissue paper. I saw this one last year. Adorable for Easter. Perfection for Easter. I'm mad at them for not releasing that. That's okay. Crafty Fox, cute. Fairy Tale Forest, I have had this. I didn't remember seeing this this year for, um, for tissue paper. So I'm guessing they outdid, they did away with the tissue paper in Fairy Tale Forest, which is a shame because it's really cute. The Crafty Fox is, is just as cute. Sports, eh, sporty. Gravity, super cute. Oh, race cars, both of those are adorable. Under the Sea, oh, I liked Under the Sea last year. I like the whale, they have a whale print and the shark print and the mermaid print better, but I would have taken this. Again, just so cute for, for any kind of beach theme or just summertime in general. I do like the race cars, those are super cute. Again, I'd have no need for them. Then a picture, the splatter print, whose idea was that? That was, that was a mist. Do not like the splatter print. Maybe for an art store? I don't know. Would you order the splatter print? Very anti-splatter print right now. Baby rompers, cute. Like that they di didn't use the um, onesie because that is used all over the place and it is copyrighted so they would have gotten in trouble. That's cute. It's like not classic rompers. They're more high five peace sign rompers. So eh, I have no need for that. Zoo, cute, on the farm. This, again, was a print last year that they didn't bring to tissue paper until now, and I'm so glad. Oh, so cute. The pigs are just adorable. Okay, so there's the baby and the picture. Cute. Oh, oh, don't, don't miss that page. The alphabet letters, adorable, outer space. Cute. Very similar to the rocket ships, but they have astronauts. And, oh, they have alphabet letters like astronaut, A astronaut, F flying saucer, M moon, K Kennedy Space Center. Cute. Jungle Party is new. Huh. The animals have little personalities. It's a leopard and a jaguar, maybe. 
wearing sunglasses, this little monkey waving, a zebra with some gifts on his back. Cute elephant, very watercolor, very cute, very me. Would I buy it? I don't think so. <laughs> elephant parade, they really like elephants on this page. Cute, very kid-like kind of, very pastel. Pastel stripe, eh. Colors, oh, colors is new, colors is cute. I might have bought colors. It has like a 90s feel to it. The eyes are slightly askew. Everything's very like clunky, but in a really cute way. Like a kid drew a boxy fire truck. It's not a fire truck. It's like a big boxy fire truck. Cute. The whale even has like a square head. It's adorable. Love it. Love the colors. Perfect green, perfect blue shades of different colors very nice almost like in a, a stripe almost like red orange yellow green love it nailed it oh pretty hearts i wish they would have brought this one i like this better than the other heart that they have metallic turquoise and gold highlights yeah i like the color scheme of this very pretty red gold hearts yeah gold hearts oh here's the other heart do i like this one better I like them equally. Then we have a retro floral. I don't know what anything that this is retro. It's black and kind of a cream. It's a flower, like a chrysanthemum almost, with little pink flowers and little dotted flowers. It's pretty, it's very pretty. I don't know that I consider this retro. Pearl Damask, very pretty. They have that in black and white and this one is more boring. Oh, we have more. Hanukkah stars, very pretty, classic kind of dark blue navy with um, the six-sided star in silver. It is a metallic highlight. The blue and silver stripe makes sense. And then the Star of David, again, blue and silver. They're all blue and silver, of course. Then double-sided, boring. Polka dots, eh. Okay, now we're into the tissue paper again. Okay, I like it. I, I'm overall, I'll be excited. I, I'm still bummed they didn't have the lemons. They have lemon uh, blossom in the gift bag. And I really like the lemon print. And they have the orange print, so it would have made sense. The llamas are so cute. I don't remember seeing that as, that's really cute. I have almost identical llama print Polly Miller. That would have been really cute with the tissue paper, um, but they didn't do that. That's okay. The cowboy hats are so fun. Celestial is gorgeous. The tie-dye, I'm shocked they didn't, though I hate that colorway of tie-dye, I'm shocked they didn't make a tie-dye tissue paper. The gnomes, oh, I'm so disappointed they wrote happy birthday on those because they look so fun. So fun. It reminds me almost of like rainbow bright, the colors. Seeing if there's anything else. Oh, oh, there's a whole autumn theme. Is it only gift bags? Cause it's cute. Oh, there's a woodland creature riding a bicycle, reading a book very unsafe and not a helmet to be seen with like gifts and a, an autumnal theme oh adorable oh halloween oh so cute books and potions store why why isn't this in any gift wrap maybe it's too too small of a market huh it's just in the gift bags then they have their totes, which I would get in a heartbeat. They're the same size as Marshall's and TJ Maxx, except they're a lot more expensive. I think they're $5, so not a lot more, but five times the price. Cute though, for all those Jills and Robert collectors. Then they have gift tags, plain stuff, sacks, wine bottles, boxes, gift card enclosures. Jills and Roberts is a fairly big company. Stickers, I have tried their stickers. I got some on super discounted clearance. They were nice. They were like vintage stickers with a prism. 
they do have um, not poly mailers, more of a what are they calling this? Gift mailers, but they're pricey. They're too pricey for me to to do. The small ones are five dollars. The large ones are seven dollars. They're more expensive than any other mailer by far, including gold foil. So won't be using those. Boxes, matching boxes, cute shirt boxes, ribbons, curling ribbons. Again, more expensive than just Amazon. What is this, signage? Cute, I don't remember seeing signage. I don't know that I've ever made it to this part of the calendar though. Oh, and then like an actual sheet you would order from. <laughs> Who's ordering like? I think 1980s, like, oh, two of the gift wrap. Just do it online. Okay, good job, Jelson Roberts. Seriously, I give them a lot of credit. That's a lot of work that go into every single print. And even though I'm a little bit nitpicky, I mean, there's so many. The gamut of who uses tissue paper and gift wrap is so different, and people's needs are different. I'm just wrapping for, well, fun. Nobody needs to be gift wrapping your eBay items, but my feedback does show it and I get more orders that way because people know it's a little gift and it makes it so much more fun. I used to hate shipping and now I don't hate it. So I mostly I look forward to it if I'm feeling well. Oh, I feel so much better today. Oh, yesterday was just, you know, and your whole body just feels blecky and you have chills up and down and you feel nauseous and even my nausea medicine wasn't touching it. So much better day. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. What was your favorite? I'm trying to decide what I think your, your favorite would be. Books are cute. Books, does books have, the Celestial. I, hands down, my favorite is the Celestial. Will I be using it more than like a few times in October? No, but I do really, really like it. Do I like anything past that? The Cowboys are so fun. Books. On the farm. On the farm wins. Okay, take care. Bye.